Welcome to the library website located at library.uhv.edu. You can get to the website by typing in the URL or by simply typing VC UHV Library into Google. Nowadays, it is essential that you become familiar with this website to be a successful student. In this video, I'm going to point out the aspects of our library website that you will likely use the most. Right at the top of the screen, you will see a bar with five different tabs. The first tab is OneSearch, which is a search platform that we have created that allows you to search both the library catalog and almost all of our databases at one time. If you haven't encountered it yet, you will be sure to be assigned work that requires you to use credible and trustworthy information. By using library resources, you can have more control over the types of resources you find and peace of mind when you turn in your assignments. We'll explore OneSearch in another video. The next tab I'd like to show you is Search Library Catalog. Unlike OneSearch, Search Library Catalog only searches materials like books, DVDs, audiobooks, and more. Books and ebooks are often useful because they can give you a broad overview of certain topics. You can type in keywords, specific titles, or authors. Let's say I'm looking for materials on stereotypes. I can type in my keyword and hit search. So this is what your results page might look like. The first thing you can look at is these icons to tell what type of resource the item is. So you can see we have a video recording, even a book, and an ebook. If you'd like to get a book from the library, you'll have to pay attention to a few things. First is where it's located. So you'll see that it's this book in particular is located in our main collection, which is on the third floor. You'll then see what the call number is. You can think of the call number as kind of the book's address on the shelf. So if you want to find this book, you'll definitely want to write down the call number and whether or not it's checked in. If you see something that says online access, you can access it whether you're in the library or away from campus. If you click on online access, you'll just be required to log in with your Pirate Portal information if you are off campus. Now we can head back to the library website which you can do by clicking on the VCUHV Library logo. And next we'll look at our LibGuides. LibGuides are a collection of resources on a specific topic. They are great for helping you get started on your research, especially if you need help when the library is closed. You can click on the Search by Subject tab and find our general subject LibGuides. We'll click on Education for an example. You can see that from here, you'll find the best databases for journal articles, how to find books, videos, encyclopedias, etc. Each topic will have something like this to help you get started on your research. Now if we go back to the library homepage and back to search by subject, you'll see that we have quite a few general subject libguides. It's important to remember that topics are interdisciplinary meaning that when you research, your topic will likely fall under multiple categories here on the LibGuide list. Just make sure you take your time exploring so you don't miss any important information. You can also get to LibGuides by clicking on the Library Guides tab here, and you can either search our Library Guides for a specific topic, or you can browse through our Guides by Category or See All Guides. If we don't have the material you're looking for, you can use our interlibrary loan service. You can click on the interlibrary loan box and fill out a request for the type of material that you'll need. Our interlibrary loan librarians will borrow the materials from other libraries so that you can get access to them. Journal articles are sent by email within two days and books take about three days to arrive. This service is totally free. We'll head back to the library website. And next I'll show you our study rooms. We have nine study rooms that are available whenever the library is open. You can book a study room online by going to the quick links box and clicking on study rooms. You'll see a list of our rooms here and you can hover on the little eye icon to see what they look like. You can book rooms two days ahead of time and for two hours at a time. So let's say if I wanted to book room 301B, I would just click on the little squares for the time I want, read our policies, fill out the information, and then submit your booking. The last and arguably most important aspect of the library website is our contact information. Right in the middle of the page, you will see the five ways to contact a librarian. Librarians are here to help you with your research needs. Our chat is the most popular way we help students, and that's located right here. It's staffed by a librarian whenever the library is open, and will give you real-time and private help. 
You can also come and visit us, email us, call us, or text us.